so, Mr. Garavanti, would you please tell the audience about your sports writing days? Okay, uh, this would be like 1947, uh, and uh, I was coming out of um, St. John's University. I had just graduated in January of 47, and I had been a copy boy uh, at the International News Service uh, offices in, in New York City. They were around 45th Street between Avenue. 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue in the city. And once I told them that I had graduated, they uh, offered me a job in the sports department in which I was asked to uh, cover not so much sports events but as to rewrite sports stories as they came into the uh, uh, in, in, into our building. In those days, uh, we, the International News Service had been established by uh, William Randolph Hearst. He wanted his own service and didn't want to be, uh, um, I guess, responsible to uh, the Associated Press and the United Press. So by forming his own, he could control what he wanted on the wires and things like that. So as a consequence, uh, when we had a story, for instance, if I had a, if I had a news story that came out of New York about um, the, the Yankees, you know, and Joe DiMaggio, I would, I would type it out on my typewriter and hand it to the sports desk. And he, in turn, would hand it to the editor, who, in turn, would give it to a teletype uh, type typist. Okay, what is a teletype machine? A teletype machine is a mechanical typewriter that is connected by uh, wires and cables to um, other cities throughout the United States. So that is, as he typed it out, uh, the teletype uh, typist, as he as he typed out the story, it would go to every uh, every office in the United States where there was an international news service office, so that um, it could go north to Buffalo, it could go even into Canada, it could go to California, and then it was up to the newspapers in those uh, cities to um, decide whether they wanted to use the story or not. If it was too local for them, they would not bother. But if it was, a, for instance, if it were a Yankee game that I was reporting on or an interview with Joe DiMaggio, they might put it in Boston where the Red Sox are such, uh, you know, serious competitors to the Yankees. And my, my main job was to primarily summarize the, the sports stories uh, of the day at the end of at the end of the day I had the what was most challenging about summarizing those stories space for one in other words you didn't have a lot of room I probably had um, an eight and a half by eleven maybe two two eight and a half by eleven sheets of uh, paper to type on and what was interesting in those days uh, in order to type a story, you had to type it on um, carb uh, you know, uh, I would say eight or twelve pieces of paper that have carbon sheets between them. I remember those carbon days. Right. And so when you typed your story, you had twelve copies. And those twelve copies, for instance, from my, what I would do with them, I would hand them to my sports uh, editor or whoever might be on duty or if I was on duty just by myself, I would hand it to the editor at the, the, the city desk and he in turn would take, uh, we would have removed all the carbons and he would have a copy boy give those stories to six or seven departments. There was the international department, there was the local departments, but every you know, every editor or every department 
knew what was going on because they had a copy of every piece of paper that we that was was written in the uh, that day.